everybody another episode of the art and the artist i am here with bonnie today thank you so much for joining me thank you for having me i'm excited oh yeah 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 you know what i've been i have been following you for a while and uh when i reached out to you i thought hold on did i not reach out to you before I, sometimes i get confused you know because i i send out invites you know to a bunch of artists but I had to go back and check. I'm like, no, no, I didn't. What am I doing? I got to talk to you. <laughs> all right. So um, so let's just get right into it then. All right. So where are you from and where do you currently reside? Um, I am from, born and raised in New Jersey, Hoboken, New Jersey. And I'm currently living in the Dominican Republic right now. My parents retired here in 2016 and I came along with them and it's been a journey ever since. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's cool. All right. So that's that's the reason you're there then. You, you yeah, know, yeah. They retired. And then I kind of went back to Jersey a little like last year and I couldn't I couldn't do it. I was like, this sucks. Oh. <laughs> like, the life here and like the, the uh -huh. climate, the food, the weather, the people, yeah. you know. Everything all around is better in the, in the, in the Dominican Republic for yeah. you. hundred percent. A hundred percent. That's good then. I mean, you got to go where life is easiest. So I mean, that's that's I'm awesome. Thinking. I'm trying to not feel like a failure. Like I quit, I gave up, but at the same time, <laughs> my mental health was just in shambles yeah, in New Jersey. Really. So I'm like, you know what? I can't do. There's no point. Like, why? Yeah. Why? Why force yeah. it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's and, and it's you know what? It's not that you know long of it of a, a flight away, anyways. If you wanted to come back, so <laughs> okay, all right then. <laughs> so um, the the first thing that I noticed about you though is you do a lot of different mediums you're not just a painter you you've got the rugs as i was scrolling through your instagram you have some sculptures you know pencil yeah. drawings you're a very very well-rounded artist it's 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 awesome to see all your work <laughs> all right so were you always this artistic <laughs> were you even as a kid were you uh, drawing according to my mom i was oh really <laughs> <laughs> according to my mom i was i don't really remember much i remember in yeah. high school where it like kicked in for me like they were like you got to take an elective to like make the points or whatever to graduate I was like oh I'll oh, take yeah. painting, whatever and then my whole life changed like the, the teacher was very nice and was very much like there are no rules in this just do whatever and that like sparked something in me and everything changed after that yeah yeah mm -hmm. that's awesome so I mean you went to university for art that's that's what yeah. you got your degree in. Yeah. okay so yeah. when you were in high school you you realized that okay this is what I want to do Still, no. I knew that I had something creative, but I didn't know what it was. And I used okay. to always just very colorful, very like funky and weird. So I was like, I'm going to school for fashion. That's definitely me. Oh, yeah. Merchandising. So I studied that for a year and a half. Absolutely miserable. I'm horrible at math. I can't use Excel <laughs> to save my life. So I was like, you know, <laughs> this, is, this is not it. So, um, yeah, I definitely went to a community college in New Jersey. And that's where I learned like the basics of like lighting, shadow, perspective, dimension, depth, all that kind of boring stuff. I got that uh -huh. out of the way there. Okay. And then when my parents moved here, I decided like, you know what? I'm in DR. Like I can go anywhere. Like who cares about yeah. New York? Let's go somewhere else. So I went to England and I studied fine arts there for three years. And that's when like another huge shift happened again. Huge. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. All right. So, so going to England then, was that, was there any sort of, you know, shock getting there? Was it, were you the comfortable weather, there? Easy to adjust? Is. Oh, the weather was crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> it was always raining. And I have a curly yeah. afro. I'm like, I can't, like, my hair is not the one for this thing. Um, <laughs> but, but I learned a lot there. It was very much not, there's no classrooms. I never took one test in the three years I was there. It was very much like we have open studio spaces and we're just, they give us three months. They're like, create a gallery setting, three months, okay. do it. But it's like it's very vague. So in that you can do whatever. So I, I decided to focus on physics, which was nobody was doing that. Nobody yeah, had yeah. me half the time. So I was literally. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, you know, I have a question about that, actually, uh, after, after you finish. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's okay. My earring flow. I'm getting too excited. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, it was very much like understanding how to transform materials and give give things that we're used to seeing every day a new meaning. And it was sort of like psychological. And it kind of, if you think about it, it played into like the marketing that I had already studied and like, mm -hmm. how can I change people's perspective on these objects? So it was yeah. very, very like mind opening. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I read that in your artist statement that you incorporate physics into your work, you know, the motion, trajectory, you know, and things like that. What was, was it, like you said, was that just sort of the, you know, the marketing in you trying to, you know, get people to look at things a different way? Or is there something else behind you incorporating physics into your work? Because I thought that was awesome. When, yeah. when I read that, and then, I, you know, I go back and see the rest of the work, I'm like, oh, this, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah thank you for reading that, honestly. I yeah. write that, like, nobody reads it, and like, what is this thing? <laughs> but it always has, like, some sort of science behind it. Um, yeah. I think it kind of started while I was living here. I became very obsessed with the stars, and, you know, like, 
once you start studying the astros and it all kind of like goes down like it's this whole spectrum of like the large the grand the, the expansion of the universe versus like you know the quantum and i just like got really obsessed with that mm-hmm. and started taking it like really deep and researching that um and it was it was interesting it was very complicated to wrap my head around because i don't know how to do math again and i had all these <laughs> questions like well, what if this happens and if this falls at this rate and i pick this up at this speed but i can't do the math to figure it out so i started doing art based off of that trying to create a visual for something that is invisible which was very complex <laughs> yeah wow that, yeah, that's a great answer yeah that's that's very interesting yeah no and you know and as far as the artist statements go that's my one of my favorite things to do when i find a new artist check their you know if that's they have so an good. artist statement website yeah because i mean it gives you a little bit more insight into yeah, the person. Yeah. yeah okay all right so then when let's say uh i mean maybe this is after you've gone to community college or, or maybe while you're in England, but was there a certain period or like a certain piece or just a uh, a period of time when you realize, oh, okay, this is, now this is serious. Now now I know I can do this for sure, make it my living. Mm, yeah, I think so. I think it was when, um, well, they call, instead of calling them teachers out there, they call them tutors and I'm like stuck with that. So I'm like yeah. stuttering not saying that. But I think it was when the tutors, they gave me recognition for being able to transform nothing and create something out of it. And I got into this like weird habit of like roaming the streets and finding people's trash. You know, it wasn't like dirty stuff, but just like this weird plastic thing or like this piece of furniture or whatever. And like creating something else out of it that you'd never know that was previously like the leg of a chair or whatever. Sure. So once I started getting the recognition from the tutors, like based off of that, I was like, all right, now this is something different. And like, maybe I can work with this, but yeah. it gets a little bit tricky in terms of like shipping and stuff like that like how am i supposed to ship these things because now they're sculptures but it's yeah. so yeah i think that <laughs> yeah <laughs> that definitely. oh yeah no absolutely yeah, it could get a little pricey too mm-hmm. all right um okay so when okay so let's i want to talk about you know growing up in new jersey do you think that your environment and the people around you had a big influence on the way that you create yeah, for sure. Without a doubt. Like one, I'm right next to New York City. So I had that like I was literally less than 10 minutes away on the bus. So that was like a major contributor. I always had the galleries around and just that essence of New York and anything yeah. goes kind of kind of vibe. But also like my mom, she's a hairstylist. So I was always like growing up around color and like seeing that transition of if you add a little bit of yellow, if you add bleach, you'll get this result. So as a kid, like looking back, I never thought of it, honestly, until right now, yeah. <laughs> looking back like that hair dyeing process may, play, may have played a lot into my art. And then also my dad, like he's a military dude, so it doesn't really apply, but he's very hands-on, very creative, very much like, this is broken, I'll fix it. Like, all you gotta do is put this and that, and that's fixed. And it was like, I got that whole, like, I'm literally yeah, yeah. 50 of both my parents, like. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. That's mm-hmm. Okay, well, speaking of your parents then, so when you told them that, or maybe not even tell them, like when they, you know, sort of figured out you were going to be a full-time artist, were they 100% mm-hmm. on board with you? Were they supporter from the beginning? My mom was like, you know, with, with the with the classic like Dominican Caribbean upbringing, it's like you either got to study law, or you're going to be a teacher, you're going to be a doctor, like you vote. And I was like, oh, I'll be a vet. And then like I tried for like a day and I was like, you know, I'm a Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. But she now she's like my biggest supporter. She's like, wear this outfit for your picture. Look, the lighting is right. Here's the yeah. camera. She does it. But my dad has always since day one has been like a mega supporter. Like, just be yourself, be you, whatever you want. Go ahead. Like, yeah, we really appreciate. Oh, that's wonderful. That, that's mm-hmm. beautiful. But yeah. Not a lot of people get that. You know, it's. I always yep. love hearing that because, you know, sometimes it's, oh, you know, mm-hmm. still, I talk to some artists who are, you know, making money from art, you know, and, and galleries and stuff like that. And their parents are still. Parents still don't. Yeah, yeah, it's inside. That, that support is immense. Like my dad has allowed me and now my mom has allowed me to like really flourish and like focus on that, like paying for my university abroad, yeah. like study fine arts. Like it's been said many a time that like art is a luxury. And like if you get to study art, like you're like a rich kid, but not really. Nah, like, nah, my nah. parents are true supporters. and They want me to be happy. So I, 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 I like yeah. that. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, that's beautiful. That really is. That, that's that's wonderful. Okay, okay. So your time in England, okay, that that's very cool. Yeah, I, I read that too in your statement. I thought, wow, you know, starting to broad for art. That's that's pretty awesome, especially coming from where you like you say you're right next to New York, which yeah. is probably the biggest place for art in America. Exactly. Um. So, do you think that okay? Because you know, sort of the vibe, right? It, if you're in New York, I can't speak on our New York, um, but in LA. Right. It, the, the art scene has a certain, you know, kind of well, at least now it does has a certain kind of feel to it. Was mm-hmm. there a different sort of art community in England where you were? Was it was it similar to 
New York, that 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 same kind of because I would imagine it's it's pretty similar to LA and New York. Like it's very it's it seems like it's getting younger. You know, the, yeah. the crowd is getting younger, yeah, the artists sure. are getting younger. Um, is it more like that in England or was it more of a sort of traditional, you know, how some people in their heads have when they think about mm -hmm. art, you know, it's kind yeah. of like snobby and snooty and you know, exactly. stuff like that. I guess that snobby element is always there. Honestly, you yeah. can't you can't yeah, avoid you know that. What? It's always middle-aged white men. We were used, everybody we studied, middle-aged white men, white men, all over the place. Yeah. Every now and then we'd go into like a more diverse kind of uh -huh. um, artist. But honestly, I don't know. It, it's hard to say because when I was studying in New Jersey, like, and being in New York, like the schools, the, the, the museums and stuff they took us to were very classical, like the Met, you know, we go to places like that and see classical yeah. art and like paintings by Manet or Monet, whatever. But like here in, well, not here, oh my God, but in England, like, <laughs> Like, since they're, like, pushing that kind of abstract, more forward, new thinking, we were seeing that kind of art all the time. We were seeing oh, a lot really? of strange installations, like, a lot of weird stuff, a lot of things that were very personal to people. I felt like I was more involved, I guess. But I guess, because, I don't know, it was a different kind of university. So, yeah, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's, that's interesting. It, 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 is that why? Because, I mean, you you do the abstract style, but you can do a lot of different things really well. What really drove you to the more of the abstract element of art? I think, like, it's still something I struggle with now, but I think the abstract side allows less room for, like, what does this mean? What are you trying to say? Like, for me, okay. abstract is like, I love these colors together, and this this motion feels right, and this technique is mm -hmm. interesting, and, like, this layering is pretty cool. But when mm -hmm. it's, like, other things, it's more like, there's a woman sitting here, and she's thinking about this, and this looks like mm -hmm. that, and this is that. Like, I find that abstract allows me to play more, but now yeah. I'm watching, like, the, the full circle. It's coming full circle now where I'm realizing, like, wait, the abstract can actually say something. So what yes. do I want to say? So now I'm stuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm stuck. Yeah, you you know, and it's great too because you give these great sort of explanations the, of of what the art means when you when you make your social media posts. It's it's great because when you go to a museum, you see a piece. Mm -hmm. It's got like a little short, you know. It might not even say yeah. anything about it, right? Um, but you, you know, have these paragraphs of of the meaning that you, or how you felt when you were making or what inspired it for you. Um, so when you're making a piece are you having the concept first or or you know kind of in your head what you want to what you want it to look like uh sketch it out or is it you know let's just start and kind of see where this goes yeah yeah i dream of being the artist that does several sketches and then paints yeah. i dream of that I, i've never i've never been <laughs> i've ever i've always wanted to but it's very much like like i've noticed with my process that i need to be stressed out or like annoyed in my life or mm. a heartbreak or to tense i don't know like some sort of like yeah. issue internal issue with whatever it is and yeah. i'm like you need to paint something yolo and i'll just start i'll yeah. just start. i love this green right now let's start with green and it just like starts yeah. to take a whole kind of character but like for this piece for example behind me yeah. it was supposed to be a commission that um some like a local nail salon requested a marilyn monroe and i kind of was like i don't want to do this so like <laughs> i feel bad because i told her yeah but i was like you know what i'm, done. I'm so sorry i can't right now i'm expressing different yeah. avenues like exploring new things and i made this thing and it's like yeah. i feel I don't know. It just came from nothing. But I realized yeah. not looking at it that uh, I'm sure you read the caption that I was feeling like mm -hmm. very like suffocated at the time. Like I'm just moving back in with my parents. They're mm -hmm. great people, but they're my parents. You know, they're yeah, like, yeah. what are you doing today? Where are you going? Where are you with? <laughs> yeah. Are you sure you're doing your skincare? Did you take your pill? <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to be 30. Like I got it, you know? So I think that that kind of like came out on there. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> these yeah. are so chaotic. <laughs> No, oh, that that's a great piece too. So yeah, I actually that's one of the ones I wanted to talk about. You know, since you brought it up, I mean, you, you sort of talked about it already. So, so it was it started out as a commission, and then you yes. said, nah. Not I feel so it. bad, yeah, because she was back and forth about the payment. I'm like, girl, like, come on, please. <laughs> oh really? Oh okay. Well, I, so mean, I kind of like on. lost interest, and I, I don't yeah. like black and white. I very rarely ever do a black and white piece, yeah. and that was yeah. just too too many negatives for me. I'm like, you mm -hmm. know what? I don't like to feel cornered in my art, so I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, that's awesome. Cause I mean, you can feel the emotion in the piece, you know what I mean? And it's, yeah, it's it's sure. fantastic. Yeah, I, I I really dig that one. Okay, I like to ask this question a lot. Because uh, I know usually artists that are, you know, drawing a lot when they're younger and, you know, just really creative at a young age uh, have one thing that they like to draw when they're younger mm -hmm. until they perfect it. Is there something that you used to draw when you were younger all the time? 
Not not necessarily when I was younger, no. But uh, when I got a little bit better at drawing, I was just always drawing women. And I'm straight. Yeah. I just love yeah. drawing women. Like, I love yeah. the fluidity of the body. I love how just, like, smooth and rounded it is as opposed to men who are more rigid and, like, structural yeah. forms. Like, women are just soft and flowy. Everybody likes to look at a beautiful woman. So I kind of like, got yeah. stuck with that. But now I'm wondering. Last night I was thinking, like, why do I keep doing this? Like, what am I trying to say? What is it? What is my experience with femininity, with being a woman? Mm. So that's, like, something I'm also yeah. considering now. Yeah. It's like, so repetitive. Like, there's, mm. there's a shorty right there, too. Like, almost yeah, busted. yeah. <laughs> but, like, you know, like... So- all right, so these these pieces with women then are they expressions of your femininity or is it just you know mm, okay i think yeah. they might be because they're always nude they're never dressed and i think that <laughs> also not that i'm like that but also like when growing up like my mom she's very much like for you to look like not in a bad way but like for you to look good like you must dress like form-fitting like women you should be able to see their figure and like yeah. you know and i've always like kind of had a weird battle with that so i think damn you're really digging into my subconscious right yeah. now <laughs> <laughs> I think That's that right. might have something. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I can't figure it out. It just seems like easy, like a go-to. Like if I'm under pressure, draw something, I'm drawing a woman, you know, like yeah. quick. or an yeah. avocado or a papaya. Yeah. Like, <laughs> those are like easy, like you've got it. One yeah. second. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. So uh being in the Dominican Republic as opposed to being in New York, is there a sort of like a sort of a different feel to your art? Is it is something changed when you make that trip over? Absolutely. I think that. Like my work when I was living um, in New Jersey this past year, everything kind of had this sort of like dark, heavy feeling. I don't know if it's really noticeable to other people, but for me, since I was making it, everything was kind of like dark. I used a lot of blacks, a lot of like mm-hmm. deep blues. And here, I don't know, like everything's always bright. Everything's yeah. vibrant here. In, in life, that there's trees all over. My neighbor's house is bright orange. Like yeah. there's always bright colors, you know? And that's something that I tend to like put in my work all the time. I always have oceans in it. There's always an ocean. There's always a tree somewhere. Yeah. Um, so I try to like really incorporate that even with not thinking about it. Like it just comes out. But yeah, yeah. I think, I think in, in Jersey, my art is much darker and much oh, okay. more like I'm feeling this and I'm feeling like crap and this and that. That's like the yeah. art that I made there. Yeah. But here it's like, what am I, what am I feeling really? Like what's around me? How can I project this? It's very uh-huh. different. Yeah. It's, it's more where you live now. It, it's more open than New York. Cause I mean, I could see how I, I wouldn't say necessarily the entire vibe of the city, but like the energy from the people in the city yeah. sort of affecting very the way that you create. Yeah. 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 I felt very isolated when I was living in New York and New Jersey yeah. versus here. Like everybody knows my parents. Everybody knows me. There's mm-hmm. many pros and cons to that, which we will not get into. <laughs> <laughs> Having a relationship here, chaos. God oh, forbid, yeah. someone else, the whole neighborhood knows a mess. Oh, anyway, yeah. But yeah. yeah, a huge sense of community here. Huge sense. And everybody knows me. Everybody knows my parents, all the neighbors. Everybody really yeah. very much knows each other. Yeah. So it's very like united. There's a lot of unity here, which I appreciate. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's different in a big city. Even, I mean, even like LA, right? Like it's, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm born and raised here. But it's, um, yeah, it, 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 depending, to me, it's like the time of the year, right? Like, you, you can just kind of feel like, you know, like that right too. now, it, it's, it, I haven't seen rain like this in Los Angeles, like ever in my life. Like, it, it hasn't rained this much. It, it's wild. And like, the city had just has a kind of a different, I love the rain. So actually, I, I dig it. But like, the city I mean, has a different feeling, you know what I mean? Absolutely. It's, absolutely i find that like like i can just approach anybody here it's just the mm-hmm. culture though like people will just walk up to you hey what's going on over there but like in new york people are like why are you talking to me like Ew, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's very very different so here i feel uh, like i'm more free to be myself but at the same time yeah. like i have to be cautious because everybody talks here and everybody knows everything without knowing anything which yeah. is psychologically uh, <laughs> yeah yeah you know i could Im- i couldn't imagine having a relationship with her in, in a situation like that yeah <laughs> It's chaotic. One person knows and everyone knows. Yeah. yeah. It's a small place. It's a small island, you know? Like. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. So what was the first sort of medium that you kind of got serious with? Was it was it oil painting at first always? Or did you kind of incorporate that later? Or because I mean, all right. So I'm not sure if the stuff on your Instagram is from when you were in school, but like, like the sculptures, right? Some, yeah. I, some. Okay. Because yeah. I didn't. I didn't realize that I, I knew the rugs and I, I knew the paintings. And then when I really started digging, I was like, oh, she does this awesome too. Okay. That's, <laughs> you know, that's great. So what, what was the first one you got serious with? And do you still do other things besides the painting? Do you still do sculptures and, you know, things like that? 
first medium was acrylic paint. I have a, a soft spot in my heart for acrylic. It, it's oh, very, yeah. um, what can I say? I don't want to say forgiving because you could say that about oil paint, but I have a straight, I, I don't know. It, it's really weird, but I, I feel yeah. much safer with acrylic for the simple fact that you can like wash it with water. That's it. It's oh, done. Yeah. But oil paints yeah. is like thinner and then linseed oil and this and that. And it smells and it's like gets on you and it gets on everything. Mm -hmm. But um, it's definitely acrylic paint. And I like to treat acrylic paint like watercolor, which makes no sense because for that, I <laughs> watercolor. Um, or sometimes I like to treat acrylic like oil, which again makes no sense because for that I need oil. But I think it's just very fun. Sometimes you can't tell is that acrylic or is it oil? Yeah. So I kind of like playfulness. But I definitely still do rugs. Um, I'm waiting for my materials and stuff to come in. We shipped everything via yeah. ocean, which is insane. Wow. Um, we think on like a giant yeah. ship. So we're <laughs> waiting for that. I think uh -huh. tomorrow shows up actually. But I have my frame ready. Like I'm just you know waiting yeah. for a commission. But I've noticed once people see me working, they're like, "Yo, can I get this?" So yeah. I got to. All right, so how did you get into the rugs then? When, when did that start? Because, yeah, that is that is awesome. Because you have, you know, like these abstract rugs. And then you yeah. also, you have some, you know, like, you know, I, you know, the Crenshaw one, you know, as an as a LA native, yeah, you know, that one touched me. That one twice. <laughs> twice. Love that yeah, one. Yeah, that's, that's a dope rug. Yeah. So how did that start? How did you get into it? It's a bit of a negative intro, but I saw a really ugly rug on Twitter and I got upset. I was like, this is so, <laughs> like, this is so dumb. Like, why would somebody make this? Like, you have the ability to make rug. Why would you make that? I was so upset. So I was like, uh, you know, what? I'm done. I'm going to just start sketching. I started just drawing all these yeah. weird forms. And this, this is kind of like the, the vibe that I started with. Like, mm -hmm. I was just still always into science, like amoebas and cell division. I don't know what was going on that I was obsessed yeah. with. <laughs> went through that stage you know i love science um so i started like doing some sketches and i told my parents like look i don't have that much money in the bank but i'm gonna buy this machine and we're just gonna figure it out and i did and my dad master handyman built me the frame easy quick and it just started yeah. and it, it was it was hard to keep up yeah. it was very hard to keep up with because one i had to learn an entire new material yeah. an entire new medium an entire new way of creating um, plus all the commissions. I had 10, 10 commissions immediately upon buying the machine. I'm like, damn, really? like people really like my work. And oh, like, so yeah. that was tricky. Okay. Was it a, a hard learning process? Because I mean, I kind of met, it seems like it's, you know, a very time consuming project. It's weird. Like I get really frustrated. I love, I love the end product. Like I love seeing yeah. the final image while wow, it's done. It's on the wall, but yeah. all of the stuff before I'm just like, Oh Jesus Christ. Like why yeah. am I here? <laughs> it's very much like, it, it's weird. I have a love and hate relationship with it, yeah. but um, it's very much like using a drill. That's how I describe it. Like you're just oh, like, okay. you know, sure, and like yeah. make one line snip, one line snip, one line snip. Yeah. Like it has like fluidly as paint. And I can't, you know, it's yeah, very like, yeah. this is it, and that's how it is. And yeah, you only yeah. have to put, like however many tries until the fabric rips until the yarn yeah. runs. Out. So it's like, oh, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's beautiful at the end of the day. So yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah, they look fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I love them. All right. That, yeah that's so you that's crazy you just said all right like I, I don't, yeah i kind of like I'm, I'm, this dumb shit. I'm gonna make something nice okay all yeah right. yeah i'm a bit of a competitor you know i'm like this is dumb like and yeah. I, I it's weird because i hate most art like i'm like a weird artist like i hate most art like this is stupid this is dumb this is lame yeah. why are you not using black your color theory sucks like i'm very like <laughs> you know like, sure I'm, yeah no, and that's, then that just really like it's something for me i'm like I'm doing this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. That's that's super cool. Okay. All right. So you're the only artist in your family, then? There's uh, pretty much, yeah, 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 in my whole family, really. But okay. um, my dad is always making stuff. He's currently like using bottle caps to make little crabs, which I find very interesting. Okay. Yeah. They're like, trying to put together like a, a weird table, both my parents with like um like a tire and like wood blocks. Like ah. we're very like, you know creative and. Yeah. and they don't admit they're artists though they leave nah, that with me, but they're nah, like, of course <laughs> yeah that is very artistic i mean i don't know creating your own cool. table like that yeah okay okay all right you know what? let me get into some of these pieces then. are they because and there's so many right like i had to kind of cut to it down for well, sorry for time. you <laughs> yeah all right well i'm glad we we sort of talked about the one behind you because that, that was one that I, I wanted to talk about and i like that story about the commission that uh that wasn't but um, all right. So, yeah. So the first one that's on your uh, artist statement, the uh, the passage of time. Oh, uh, yeah. OK, yeah. So that one. Yeah. So when I so it's right next to the statement. Right. So when I started reading about, you know, incorporating physics and then, you know, the, first of all, the piece is called the passage of time. Um, and, but it's very I don't want to say it's it's different than, let's say, like the one that's behind you. Right. Like the color scheme is different. It's not as bright. Yeah or anything like that is there 
did the use of colors in that way kind of evolve over time? Because this this piece, all right. So th this is one of my favorite ones. I, I would tell. I don't know. It's something about it that I absolutely love. I think it is the shapes and you know the yeah. I I don't know. It's mm -hmm. it's a great piece though. Um, so making pieces like this with this sort of scheme was that sort of the because you have a few that are kind of in that kind of muted colors uh but did the use of bright colors like you're using now did that come over time or were you always sort of experimenting like that yeah um well for that piece that you're talking about um mm -hmm. i've changed the name like 20 times so i don't even yeah. know like, what's even called <laughs> yeah. it. I, I change it all the time um uh, that piece was a commission for a friend of mine i visited her house uh, and her house is just such like a minimal beautiful just calm aesthetic and i'm like oh no i can't make anything like crazy here like, and that challenged me a lot because i'm used to having like a lot of colors a lot of hard yeah. geometric forms and like this is that that's there but like like yeah. this clearly an avocado it's clearly a woman like and that one yeah. kind of like, pushed me because i didn't want to like crowd her space and she's such yeah. a calm it's like elegant kind of person so i was like you know what let's do something for her so it was definitely a bit of a challenge um to do that but i find it very funny that i don't know if you're hearing me because the service is like that oh i can hear you yeah okay great um but yeah i definitely went to see what is that movie called with tom cruise i forgot the the airplane movie um top oh. gun top gun oh yeah yeah, yeah i yeah, went yeah. to see top gun and while i was working on that piece so i'm like oh my god there's so much science in this like, oh, like my <laughs> loaded. so i don't know if you can tell in the pic but there's like little like dots of like little airplanes like moving through space and like oh, yeah. you know the moon and all this uh-huh it was very much inspired by that but um oh. i think yeah color has always been part of my yeah always forever literally That's like my mom has always kept the house very like colorful mm -hmm. in ways my wardrobe uh, everything. sure mm -hmm. that's you know that's interesting so that was a commission with and you had sort of a reason behind the painting it was, yeah because yeah. it's very minimal that's that, yeah you know it's yeah. even more impressive to me actually <laughs> that's that's awesome okay mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. Yeah, she, she was one of those people like one of my those are one of my favorite kinds of commissions where the, yeah. the client is very much like just do whatever like you've seen yeah. my space just do whatever you think. It's like I'm just happy yeah. to own one of your pieces and that just yeah. like there are no words to describe that yeah. that feeling like there aren't yeah. any words. Yeah, I'd imagine that's much better than them saying, oh, I want you to do this specific thing. And it's got, I want you to do these specific colors when they allow you to be free with limited sure, comes out better. I, I, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay uh 100 percent. all right so another piece a life with no god which is it's a great piece i love that painting I love absolutely it. wonderful yeah that's and, oil uh, and acrylic that oh one. is it okay <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and i saw was it on instagram that you had the explanation for i think that's where it was yeah, yeah. and um just you know how you describe the piece and and, and and for me, you know, I all right. So I'm a I'm a product of Catholic school, right? Twelve and years of Catholic school, Catholic Sunday school, <laughs> Charver, yeah, you know, all of that, yeah. So so um, yeah, just, just the, the way like you talk about sort of being lost, conscious, but 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 still lost with you know no one to guide you, anything mm -hmm. like that. All right, so. All right, I know a lot of people don't like to talk about religion, and you know we don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. But uh, with this piece in particular, um, what what made you come up with that concept and you know just you know put it out there on the canvas like that? Yeah, because it's a great piece. Thank you. I'm obsessed with it. I want to say thank you to Kanye West because that mm -hmm. was because of him I did that painting. Oh, really? <laughs> I watched his documentary, um, Genius, and I was just absolutely blown away, of course, as most mm -hmm. of us were. I don't know if you were into it, but I loved oh, it. Yeah. And his like his level of faith and just, you know, believing in himself and believing in God so much. And I was like, wait, what if we don't have that? Like, I totally like twisted. Uh, I was like, what if we don't have a God? Like, how do we feel? Yeah. And how does that work? And then, I don't know, I just started painting. I was crying while I was painting. I was like, this is so yeah. cool. Like, I was so emotional. Yeah. I love God. Like, this is so cool. <laughs> Literally, I was crying so much. Um, but it was, it was, I don't know, it's a strange piece because it's like, whichever way you rotate it, it still kind of has meaning. And I like for all of my work to like, I tell all my clients, please, every three months, move it around, change the ah, meaning, switch it up, you know, because yeah. it changes. But for that one, you should be kind of falling. But I, I like, I like this, like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. 
like while I was working, so many things came up while I was making it like a cross came out on its own. So I was like, all right, yeah, we're working. Yeah, yeah. And like, God kind of knows, like, they're like, oh, mm. you're looking for me. I'm looking for you. Like yeah. with all these spiritual things, you know, not necessarily just that, but like, so I put the crosses in. I'm like, okay, I see that this guy's head. I'm like, is he getting shot? Why is there this white line here? Like there's this random hard line. I'm like, you know what? He's getting shot then, I guess. <laughs> put a line there. You uh-huh. know, like sometimes the artwork, it kind of speaks to you and yeah. think and, and things kind of pop out when you step back. You're like, wait, is that this? And you choose mm-hmm. to pronounce certain things. So that piece is definitely very meaningful. And my best friend has it. He, he's obsessed with it. He oh, saw me post it. This is mine. He's like, that's mine. Don't tell it to anybody that's mine. I'm like, you yeah. got it, bro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so dope. he lives that's with that super one. Dope. Oh, that's mm-hmm. awesome. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? Uh, that, that got me thinking about uh, another question. How do you know when the painting is finished? How do you know when, when it's time to leave it alone and it's done? There's, it, there's never like a solid answer for it. It's just, I guess, I don't know, like in technical terms, like if the composition is complete, like you see like your negative spaces, like, you know, like positive space, the lights, the darks, like everything kind of balances itself out and you kind of just know. But I felt like with this piece, I'm like, how, how is it done? I can just add more things forever. Like yeah. when, when it, is there ever a limit? Like, so that's, mm-hmm. that's something that's very tricky, but sometimes it just tells you like, you know what, yeah. there's nothing else for me to add and anything I could add, I already put in. And it's just yeah. like, Sure. It, it's uh-huh. just weird. It just tells you to stop. It's hard mm-hmm. to explain that. Okay. Have you ever gone back to a piece to add something and, you know, yeah. it, it, it didn't come out the way you wanted? <laughs> so it makes me sick. I have this like weird rule. One of my teachers in high school said, and it stuck with me. I, I don't know why it's so dramatic, but once you sign a piece that like, you're done, like you mm-hmm. don't go back in. And I had signed it. Here's my signature in a little white thing. I signed uh-huh. it. My mom is like, what if you put a necklace on her? Maybe she can <laughs> get some gems here. I'm like, Maybe you're right, mom. Let's try it. Yeah. Work and take. I was like, you know what? Wrong. Really? <laughs> Man, I hate that. Like it happens every now and then, but okay. I think I've gotten to the point now where I know like it's, that's it. Like I shouldn't okay. add. Okay. Very- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I could imagine, you know, yeah. That's always like hearing the answer to that question because like I, um, all right. So I, you know, I once upon a time, I mean, I still do now. I, I used to make music. Right. And sometimes I'd finish a song. And I'm like, all right, I'll give it a second. Uh, wait like a week and I'll listen to it. Yeah, again. that's important. That's important. Yeah. And then I'll change it and I'll, and I'll fuck it up. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I get that. Yeah, so, okay, that's good. I like that though. Once you sign it, that's it. I'll leave it alone. Okay. Yeah, that's it's done. Like, what else? Like, you signed it, you sealed the deal, you know? Yeah. Like, why go back in? That means you're doubting uh-huh. yourself, you know? Mm-mm. Yeah, 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 no, you're right. Okay. Are you have this one uh, sort of abstract piece that I don't know, this one also sort of speaks to me. Uh, UFOs on the skyline. Is wow, I wonder what painting that is. You know, it's uh, oh, I, know what you're ta- I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I get excited. I name them, like I named them like in the heat of the moment. I'm like, what do I love? Yeah. You know, I have to, like really look. That was a commission for a high school friend of mine. And at the time I was working at a a rug, um, luxury rug showroom in New York. And Mm -hmm. they had all of these um, like random just pieces of fabric that they put like to line the rugs with. So Mm -hmm. it's very, um, it's very thin. It's transparent. You can see right through it. The light shines through it. And the the guy that I was making it for, like, he gives me this sort of like just urban, like city vibe. Like he's one of those like cool kind of characters doesn't talk unless Mm -hmm. he's spoken to, you know, one of those kind of people. I'm like, what does he like? Like, how do I imagine him? I'm like, maybe I'm thinking about him like in his car at night, like smoking, yeah. driving around the city. So like, I kind of like stuck with that. But he's also kind of like artsy, funky deep down. So I was like, let me put some yeah. UFOs in there for him. Maybe that'll yeah, be yeah, yeah. If he's smoking, he gets to zone out into that. But yeah, that piece, I've noticed with that piece and another one that I have that I sometimes like reference war and like destruction for some, I don't know what's up, but I try to not think about it too much. But like when I was um in like fifth grade, my dad got deployed to Iraq. So I think that that subconsciously also plays a role in my work. Like there's always some sort of fire element. Something's yeah. burning like all the time. So I, that's where I connect that to. But it might not even be that. I don't know. Oh, interesting. No, yeah. You know, I, I absolutely love that piece. You know, it, you know, it's, man, it's so funny. Like the way you described it too, because I'm, all right. So, so for, you know, a large portion of my life, I lived in downtown LA, right? Um, like New York compared to LA, you know, it's, it's very different, but mm-hmm. the closest thing you can get to New York in Los Angeles is downtown Los Angeles. Yeah. Um, like apparently the guy who designed it, you know, way back when wanted it to look like New York. Right. Oh. So I, um, so I, I grew up in the city, like, like the city city and, um, yeah, maybe that's why. Cause it, it kind of reminds me of like being in the city. I, I don't, it's, 
I don't know. That's that's crazy. You just said it like that because that one. I don't know why. Just I I love love that piece. I'm so glad you like it. Thank you. Thank that you. It's so crazy. Like, I gotta learn to like photograph my pieces better because on the side, like you can't tell, but I use like that stuff to like fill holes in the wall, like joint uh-huh. compound. I put that oh, okay. on the edges of it, so it kind of has like, a weird like textural sculptural aspect yeah, to it. But yeah. you never know unless you see. It. <laughs> oh, okay. okay. All right. No, that's dope. Okay. So uh-huh. you do a lot of commissions. Yeah. It seems like most of my work is ninety five percent is commission based. Oh. That's dope. Okay. So have you, I mean, you've had shows in, because I, I read on your brow, you, you've done some. A few, you, not as many as I'd like. Okay. <laughs> Are there opportunities to do shows, like uh, galleries and stuff oh, it's like breaking that up again. Live right now? Oh, okay. Let me well, know when it's did, all right. Did you say if I have the opportunity to have shows where I live now? Yes. Um, Sort of, yeah. It's more in the capital. I live in, in Santiago, which is like two hours away, maybe two and a half. Mm. I don't know. I don't go too often, but that's where everything's like really happening. But there's definitely chan- like opportunities here. And like, if I really wanted to, I could just like set up my works outside. Like, no, nobody's going to come here. Like, you need a license for this. Like, I can just do whatever. <laughs> yeah. So like, there's like, I got it. Like, you know, I don't know how to... I don't really work just like I don't make collections and I want to try to be that kind of artist and I'm striving okay. to do that now but everything is really commission based like shout out to my clients but they never give me like a chance to like just like practice oh, I'm just like making sure. for you making for you you know so okay okay weird. all right so okay so you said you haven't made like a sort of collection yet um mm-hmm. so yeah so that's something that you're looking forward forward to doing Absolutely. in the future, right? Absolutely. And I've been applying like some of the principles that I learned in the arts university in, in England, mm-hmm. that it's like, like you go into this topic and you just like dive in completely. Like you explore it, you study it, you watch yeah. videos, you read about it, you go out and experiment, you look for these things in nature. So I kind of became obsessed with like, I saw a documentary about like fungi and how they grow in nature and the thousands yeah. and hundreds thousands of like different kinds of mushrooms there are and I was like wait like this is interesting and they're so abstract like when they're photographed and they have so many like medicinal qualities not necessarily just psychedelics but like you know all sorts of mushrooms Mm -hmm. so I've kind of like been researching that but I'm trying to find like why does that apply to me always applying it to self at the end of the day because like I'm making it but that's something that that's a collection I've been wanting to start and I have just been researching now Uh uh-huh all right was that mushroom documentary on Netflix beautiful it's beautiful yeah. yeah yeah that's fantastic yeah no i saw that <laughs> okay yeah no because you know what because when i when i see your stuff um because I, I go to a lot of art galleries right and in la there's there's a ton like you know every you throw a rocky hit gallery and i mean your pieces are very much <laughs> something that i would see in a gallery it's something that i believe should be shown you know what i mean so so yeah i mean i look forward to whenever you get started with that i i really look forward can't to wait. seeing it I just need that yeah. right person to like, hey, I need this in my show. Let's go. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm always uh-huh. ready. Like, I will okay. make you 20 pieces tomorrow if you need them. Yeah. Like, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it, it's coming. You're, you're too good not to be in show. So, I mean, in, in my humble opinion, I, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it's only a matter of time. Okay. All right. No, I saw this mural that you did for, I think you said it was a local coffee shop yeah. where you live. All right. All right. So, that's. Another fantastic piece, right? Oh, I, thank you. I'm a I very big fan of colors. And, you know, and also, you know, I wouldn't have asked you to come off if I didn't like your work. So I, I would <laughs> sing your praises, all right? <laughs> but um, so how did that come about? Because it's it, it came out beautiful. Was yeah. there any sort of direction they gave you or just you had uh, the yeah. freedom to yeah. do whatever you wanted? Both sort of the the owner was a Cuban guy. We were really good friends. Were a past tense. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Yo, I need one of your pieces in my place. Like, paint whatever you want. Just make it colorful. Make it tropical. Like, okay. like give me palm trees. Make me feel like I'm in Cuba. I'm in DR. Just give me that vibe." And I'm like, "Say less. Like, you're yeah. speaking my language." So I just like I just went for it, and I was in that time going through like a weird heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was I had a lot to express. So I was there very late. That was a very hard one for me. The month of December when I painted that, I was working a, a separate job on the weekends, working my ten to five, well, my nine to five, whatever, and then doing that at night. So I was fried. Like in every yeah. aspect, I was exhausted. Yeah. But somehow I still managed to like make this piece like something nice for a coffee shop. So wow. I'm grateful for that. But. Yeah. Yeah, that no, that's fantastic. All right, so do you you get a lot of local work where you're at? I mean, it seems like you, you stay kind of busy. Here and there, yeah. I'm always busy, honestly. Um, yeah. but I don't know if I would say local. I don't know really. Murals are a tricky one to come about. They're like the largest and the best commissions yeah. an artist can ask for, truly. Yeah. So that one, yeah, I don't know. That was a random just for me knowing somebody, you know. Okay. All right. Well, hey, Maybe that was the wrong. <laughs> I it came out great. <laughs> I, I love it. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you. 
All right, I got to, okay, what is this piece here? All right, there's one, okay, I believe it was a commission also. It's called The Family Portrait, or? Oh yeah, that's a second one. Very rare that I do a second of a painting. Ah, oh, yeah. hold on, okay. So you had made this one before? I made one, yeah, for um, as, as like a sort of parting gift to so like my CrossFit coach, well, my coaches, because okay. there's three of them in the original image. That was a parting gift to them. And then somebody was like, yo, I love this. Can you do one? Like, I'm a whatever dad. I have my wife. I have a young kid. Like, can you make something? They're like, all right, cool. So yeah. I kind of like played off that other one. So it was okay. it was a weird, weird process because I don't like doing things twice when it comes to art. Yeah. It never comes out the same. But I yeah. pushed myself really hard so that one could be similar. So they look really good. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, because they like the, the original one. They said, yeah, okay, exactly. yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's a great piece too. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I, I do love, like you, you, you portray like motion very well, you know, and it's, you know, you can see it in this space and it's, you know, it's just like a figurative piece, but you can feel it, you know, the movement. Is, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Let's see some more of the ones I got written down. What is this? Love the fatal savior. You know, this one. When is that? Oh, that, that, that might be the one behind. Oh no, that's the guy carrying the girl, right? Yes. Um, yeah, that one was fun. I was kind of going through a, a, a stage there. <laughs> yeah. I was going through these weird phases and my artwork uh, is just like reminders of those times in my life. But uh -huh. at that time I had been crushing on a guy I shouldn't have. And I was <laughs> just like confused. It was very confusing. And I was like, who is this guy to me? Is he like ending me or saving me? Like, what is this about? Like, mm -hmm. so I, I kind of became obsessed with this idea of like projecting images. And that's along the, the same time with the Kanye painting and, mm -hmm. and this, this girl behind me, they all kind of mm -hmm. go together. But that's when I started using the projector and finding images of like, like, for, like body forms that kind of related to how I felt. So I had projected those people on there and just like kind of freestyled. And then yeah. my like art mentors who lives out here, he's like in his late fifties, but we're really good friends. Mm -hmm. And he came over one night and we're drinking and we just started painting. He's like, look, this is how you lay it on the canvas. This is how you use the palette knife for that. And he yeah. gave me a lot of good like oh. instruction there. So that painting always reminds me of like his lessons in time. Okay. Oh, that's awesome. So you have someone, okay. You have someone there that, that, that yeah. you can sort of He's very much like a free spirit. And, yeah. yeah, that's dope. That's <laughs> awesome. Is is there a, a, a sort of artist community where you are? Are there other? Yeah, you, know, you gotta look for it. You gotta look for it. It's very small though. It's like that's the painter over there, and that's the you know it's a small place. So everybody has their one little title. It's really kind of yeah. cute, but it's just like there's one little avenue where like the creatives link. It's such a small just oh, okay. street in this city. So I'm always there trying to just like, you know, meet people. There's one little gallery there and they're always like showing works, but it, it's a small, but the people are impactful. They know what they're talking about. Like, oh, they're okay. very oh. good artists. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. That's good to have that. Okay. All right. All right. Let me get through a couple more pieces of yours. And then I've got a couple more questions for you. All right. Cool. I'm not sure if these were commissions, but these sort of look like a series to me. Um, there's one called Loss of Self in the Face of Love. Yes, that's Sorry, I'm late and Sorry. pushing through. Ooh, what are these? Are these like women? These are all women, yes, right? A lot women. of women. Yes. <laughs> Again, with my obsession with the body, <laughs> always. This one I was researching um, just like impressionism. And then when you research impressionism, it's always like hit with like the opposite side of what artists were doing at that time. Like people hated the impressionists mm -hmm. and there were people who were like trying to portray the beauty of life, like the mm -hmm. beautiful women and like grandeur of life and whatever, like class, but it's more like interested in classical art versus the impressionists were like very messy and like depicting the everyday person. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of like studying both of those things. And this lady, she's from this, this French painter, his name is ridiculous to pronounce, uh -huh. <laughs> um, but he's very, a very good painter. So I don't know why I gave that intro to that but he, <laughs> like what well, has to do with anything okay congrats but um yeah I painted that lady and I hate doing like there's moments where I just hate like I'm like I, I can't paint this face I, I don't I don't paint hands I never paint hands in my work ever yeah. I will go above and beyond to <laughs> um so let me go stupid mosquito <laughs> shout out to the art but yeah um, that lady was very much like like I didn't feel like painting her face so I kind of just blurred it out and I kind of like yeah. applied meaning afterwards which is so shady I think and it's kind of like <laughs> okay like I don't want to paint it let me add meaning to it shout okay. out to the person again but yeah I, I definitely like, <laughs> um yeah, I definitely wanted to portray this idea that when we fall in love with people, like we lose our minds low key. Like uh, there's always this kind of loss of self and 
and who am I and what am I and everything is you but wait what about me it's this whole kind of weird thing so she has no face obviously her hand is gone I'm not doing that um and that's that's oil paint on acrylic oh, okay. <laughs> yeah yeah no I dig that no yeah I've lost my mind a couple of times yes that's, it's annoying. that's a... <laughs> it's annoying it's annoying <laughs> oh man Fair. okay yeah but <laughs> yeah, because you had yeah. on yeah. your um like uh your 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 website or the the portfolio here with all of the things listed on it yeah because it has the three pieces together that with that one behind you and yeah. then a couple other ones yeah and it's it's very much in the I think maybe I thought this was sort of a series that you did but yeah but they're absolutely beautiful for a Great bit pieces. yeah thank you that was my little um uh, what is it called projector obsession again I want oh, a little okay. projector crazy there okay. and I just started painting women again yeah. felt okay. easy all right um is there a certain kind of mood you have to be in to paint because I I'd imagine you know some days you feel you know you're not really kind of into it but is there you know like do you have to have a certain lighting or you know do you have to be in a certain mood or maybe you have music on when, when you create is there sort of a process that you go through when you start usually yeah I always have music no matter what like mm -hmm. no matter what there's no way around it like I always always have music on most of my pieces I paint to Migos which is really funny um, <laughs> I love Migos or like yeah. rap music sometimes I'll go through like a 1970s like rock and roll kind of energy it really depends mm -hmm. or like a lot of cool like like surfer music like it sounds like I just finished surfing and my homies yeah. are like, eating lobsters and we have boards <laughs> and dogs like I like music like, like it's all very different yeah, but yeah. like I think that it helps me to wear my painting outfit to paint like it puts mm -hmm. me in the mindset like i'm here to work like oh, okay, and it's very sure. important for me to have shoes on too if i'm barefoot i'm chilling like i'm not trying nah. to paint like, I'm, like i don't know for me the shoes represent something of like ah. i'm dressed you know i'm here yeah. i have to do something but yeah. um yeah a lot of times like I, it's, it's tricky to say like sometimes it depends where the canvas is and i'm like i don't mm. feel like painting but i know i have to block this space so let me just block it out real quick and i'll just yeah. do that five minutes i'm done for the day or three days or five days yeah. but a lot of times i'm just like i just want to finish it like i want to see it complete so i'll push through like my laziness or whatever i'll push yeah. through it and see it done okay okay all right all right so all right so this this is sort of kind of a question with you know with no answer all right so excuse me i'm sorry um so what inspires you what is it that's let's question. say yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> is it let's say ex experience past experiences is it you know you're experiencing life you know as you know it right now is it your environment your you know your family what what is it that that drives you to do this I guess like ultimately, like it's just to be better. I think it's like an ego thing deep down. I just want to be a better artist. I just want to be able to create easily, you know, effortlessly. But at the same time, it's very much like it's indicative of like my present time. Like every piece I look at, I can tell you, look at this time, I felt this way about this guy. And this guy taught me this around this time. <laughs> like a lot of times my work is centered around men, unfortunately. But um, yeah, it definitely depends on like what's going on in my present life. Okay. Very rare for me to like think of something from the past. I don't know. It's okay. like, like a situation happens and it sparks something. And I'm like, oh, I got to say this. I got to talk about this. Was there any, this is probably more of a question of when you were, you know, in, in university, uh, maybe an artist that that you sort of took inspiration from or or someone that, you know because it, it might even not be the you know their painting style or their art style in particular but maybe something about an artist that that drew uh you to them that that maybe inspired you in, in a different kind of way yeah definitely my favorite of all time is caravaggio um i hope mm -hmm. you're with his work very like old school baroque painter yeah um, essentially known as the father of modern art in some ways but i was obsessed with his use of contrast and like how like striking his images were like you always feel like you're part of it there's a sort of light light like there's like a candle somewhere and it's dark over here and like you're looking into this scene like i was so obsessed with that idea and also um i recently rediscovered her but i was obsessed with her in university her name is jenny savile and she does a lot of like um portraits like you could say they're kind of like fauvist like sort of portraits but she has a lot of drawings where it's it's in a way inspired by picasso's like seeing the same thing in different dimensions different angles okay. and i found that very nice and she has a lot of images of like a mother holding a child but it's like she starts here and then you see the kid here you see the kid here you see the kid here you see the mom here you see the kid, here, oh, you see the sure, kid yeah. there like it's very much the same image repeated several times mm -hmm. and i've always wanted to master that and it's so complicated oh yeah so yeah. complicated so uh, if i could merge those two people and like my style i'd be like yeah, yeah one, I, guess. I don't know <laughs> <laughs> awesome. all right if you can go anywhere 
like anywhere in the world to create and be inspired, where would you go? Mm -hmm. I, I vote nature always. Yeah. It's, it's a hard clash because I love nature, the freedom to think and just the, the vastness, for example, of the ocean that I'm very close yeah. to. So I can see ocean anytime and just, you know, feel that expansion. Anything is like there's nothing I can't do kind of feeling that the yeah, ocean just yeah. creatively somehow. Mm -hmm. But also I love being like thrown in like a scene where it's like a whole bunch of people are just having a conversation. or like I'm at the club or at some party or at some dinner event and like yeah. watching how people would like fold their napkin or like yeah. maybe that's like ADHD. I don't know, whatever. I'm like looking at <laughs> But Observe. like, I, uh, yeah, literally, I love situations <laughs> like that. So both very much inspire me. Both. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, that's dope. Okay. All right. Um, if you had a dream commission, if you could make a piece for anyone, who would be your your dream commission commission uh, to make art for? I don't know a person, but I love to have my work in hotels, like vast ah. large hotel entrances. I think that's yeah. that's what I imagine most of my work to be. Oh, like I want okay. large, like large pieces, ten feet, yeah. twenty feet, like just huge canvases that are just up and above. Yeah. That's ideal. But oh, like right now, so. you're subtly for these little guys. But yeah. <laughs> well, so what's the biggest piece that you made? I mean, I mean, excluding the yeah, the excluding murals, um, five feet by nine feet which oh, okay. was a recent commission for a good friend of mine. He was like, I'll pay you this, just make whatever you want. And I'm like, bro, like, I was crying the whole time making it. And it was a three day yeah. deadline. So I made oh, this, okay. this huge wave situation with which like when oh. you see it, there's so much going on. And it was, yeah. that was a, a beautiful one. I love when people don't tell me what to do. Just like make this, this size, yeah. these colors, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's good. Yeah, I mean, I would imagine people have that trust in you when they see your work. I mean, if they commission you, they want it in your style. So I mean, yeah. That's the yeah. best way to go about it. Yeah, just do your thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Okay. All right. We are getting to the end of this. Uh, I do have my one last question. Right. Oh, I'm just I'm looking over to make sure I didn't miss anything because I'm going to be mad if we end this and I forget to ask you something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, but before I ask that last question, do you you plan on staying in the Dominican Republic for a while? No. I don't know. For a while, oh, no, yeah, no. for a while. Okay. But I'm I'm very much people ask me all the time, are you here for good? You're here for good. I'm like, until life takes me elsewhere, I'm here. Ah, like yeah. I went to Jersey with the intention to stay, but life was like, you know what, girl, this is not it. Go back, do this. Yeah. You know, I was in DR thinking I would stay here. Then I went to England. For, like, I'm just like, Yeah, yeah. God, where do you want me? I'm going. Like, yeah. you know. <laughs> now what a that's beautiful. Well, I mean, what a way to live. I mean, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's very no. risky and kind of annoying. It lacks yeah. stability. Like, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> it's very much, very much in keeping with an artist. So, I mean, I, uh, <laughs> I dig it. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, all right. My last question that I, I love to ask everybody: If you could give advice to a young artist, uh, advice that you wish you had when you were younger, what would you tell them? That I wish I had. Advice I would, okay, there's two. Advice I would give, keep going, practice, yeah. keep trying, like don't give up. But advice I wish I had was don't be so hard on yourself. Cause I was like expecting like these grand realistic drawings when I had zero formal education. So I was very like, you know, rough on myself, beating myself up. But you know, that's pretty much what I would say, honestly. Like, okay. yeah. I think that's it. yeah, just keep trying. And people like try to skip stages. Like you have to understand color theory, please. You have to do the annoying painting, the stupid color, the color wheel. I hate doing that thing. Or like <laughs> shading from white to black with the pencil. It's very annoying, but it's so like essential. Yeah, like, you can't yeah. skip out on those things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the basics. Yeah, yeah. Don't skip steps. Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. Well, Bonnie, thank you so much for your time and uh, talking to me. I absolutely appreciate it. I, I love your yeah. work and I can't wait to see what else you got. Ah, thank you so much. I'm excited to see this, like how it comes together. I can't oh, wait. Yeah. Right, <laughs> thank awesome. you for choosing me too, for real. I appreciate it.